How to Sell Your Neighbor into Slavery at a Bargain Price. A friend of mine, who is an expert in selling his fellow man, has a great deal to say on the subject. He says, if you can sell one man into slavery, you're lucky. He doesn't mean you can get another to become slave. You can get another man to sell one man into slavery if you can give him a better one. You can find that information and more here. I've written before about a man named John, who sold his neighbor into slavery for $100 a month, and who later found himself in prison. John was an accomplished businessman, a successful lawyer, an extremely well educated man. In fact, his wife, his two children, and their families have been successful and happy for more than half a century. But in 2008, he found himself in jail for selling his neighbor into slavery at $100 a month. When he was sentenced, John says, I was shocked, and I knew I would be in trouble. I've written about John's tale in detail before, and the story is the same. I think you can find that information and more here. So, what is going on with the current state of the slave trade? Well, the main reason why slavery exists is that a lot of people think that it is wrong. So they want to get out of it. But it takes more than just a lot of money to get the people they want out of slavery. It takes a lot more than what people think is money to get them in there. There are two major problems that need solving to get people out of slavery. The first problem is the very fact that there is slavery. It is a very powerful and very powerful institution in the United States. And the second is how the United States treats its people. The United States has a very strong moral system. The system that we have in this country is a system of human rights, but there is an underlying system in which the United States treats people who are in slavery in the same way as it treats people who are in free countries. The United States treats them the same way as it treats free people.